Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for episode 19 of Bleach, the Thousand Year Blood War arc, The White Haze. Uh, this is a little bit late. Some stuff came up during the week, but here we are. Uh, so for the most part, this episode covers chapters 565 through 570. There's bits and pieces of things that have been omitted from previous chapters, uh, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, so let's let's talk about some of the the minor storylines and how those came out, uh, and then we'll get into the meat of the episode, uh, which you probably know exactly what I'm talking about if you've seen it. Uh, so real quick, we get to see a little bit of Ichigo with Squad Zero as he's trying to depart back to Soul Society. Uh, I love this because it reminds me of like when Goku had to come back from Snake Way, uh, you know, from King Kai's place. Obviously, he's already late. The battle's already started, uh, and he's got to, you know, he's got to hurry back. Uh, there's some really beautiful animation. I love that most of Squad Zero was there to kind of see him off, uh, and they just really, uh, they 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 made this a little bit more serious than it, it was in the original series or in the manga. Uh, there were some funnier moments that were kind of omitted, but I think that's par for the course. Now we know that the anime is being streamlined uh, to stay within the tone. Uh, there really haven't been a lot of more some of the more comedic moments, but I think that's okay. I think we're here for uh, a more serious battle, and that's kind of what we're getting out of this. So that's pretty good stuff. Uh, next, we really quickly touch on the fate of Kandu and BG9 after they were defeated. Uh, we saw that their bodies were taken back to the palace and. Now we know that they are they're being put to death. Uh, and because it seems that as we are learning, every time one of these uh, Sternritter, uh, one of these Quincy's that have been imbued with the essence of Yuhobach, uh, when they lose or they die, they are sent back to uh, to Yuhobach to be absorbed back uh, and he becomes more powerful. So it's really interesting because then this means that the more that the Shinigami succeed by destroying the Stern Ritter, the more powerful Yuhobach will become. Uh, and then we get a little conversation between Uryu and Hashra about how all this works and that, uh, you know, Uryu should be aware of all this because you, he, has drunk, he has drank the blood of Yuhobach. Uh, so it'll be really interesting how all this plays out. I think if you read the manga, you know a little bit of where the story is going, but uh, it's, I'm glad that we are touching on all these little things before everything, right? In, in the manga, a lot of this stuff kind of got saved towards the end or had to be told via some additional materials like the light novels and stuff like that. But here, Kubo and the team are really bringing everything in to give you full context of everything that's going to happen. Uh, so, yeah, it, it makes... and it. it it makes for some of this stuff to be very well paced because it gives us little breaks between the action uh, to kind of relieve some of that tension from the battle or to await or move on to the next part. So what we are really here for the main event of this episode, it is uh, the battle between Rukia and Asnot. Uh, obviously, Asnot was the, the Stern Ritter that defeated uh, uh, Byakya and took his Bankai and now Rukia is come back. Uh, we get to see a lot of her growth. We get to see it's a really interesting fight because uh, Asnat as the fear, uh, his power set is really interesting. Uh, I think it lends itself to some really dark animation. I think this is where the animators uh, and the director really, really are making a difference because they're able to bring some of these concepts from the manga to life in such an incredible way, right? We had seen it in the first battle with Byakuya, uh, but here we revisit that, even crank it up to 11, I would say, uh, when it comes to the fear uh, and how that is portrayed, uh, how Rukia is able to kind of counter that, but then, you know, things are always escalate once he goes into his holy form. Uh, it's just such, such, there's so many cool details. Uh, it really feels like a horror uh anime at some points that the, the team really goes for it uh, we get to see some of Rukia's loved ones turn into skeletons kind of the way we saw that happening in Byakuya's fight uh, and the way fear affects uh, everything there's this really beautiful animation that's also a little bit of fan service uh, where you know where Rukia uh, 
is affected by the fear and we kind of see that in a very it's a very visual way that it's all brought into the screen as not transformation is really cool i like the design a lot and just it gets more and more grotesque as it goes by but then we get to the 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 part of the episode that was my favorite and this is rukia's unveiling of not only her new powers and her new control uh but but her release of, of her bankai and it was it was amazing to see i was uh flabbergasted i love the design the animation is beautiful rook like the design of rukia's bankai like her character as in in bankai form uh it's amazing it's beautiful to see it's probably one of the more popular images if you search for bleach uh you know with a safe search on um yeah it's amazing and then after that we get a little bit of a conversation between between Byakuya and Rukia and how he helped her overcome for the fear uh i guess that was before her bankai transformation uh and then but also then afterwards Byakuya helps her kind of come back out of the bankai state because it is definitely a difficult one to handle something that can backfire but man oh man the acknowledgement of Byakuya and with with Rukia's new powers it was such such it was so nice to see it really completes a whole arc that we have been following since the anime really started right uh the first the first part of this anime uh the the original bleach uh the first part was all about rukia being put to death because she helped out uh ichigo and gave up her soul reaver powers uh and then byakuya had to stand by and stand by the law uh, but now we see how things have changed. The relationship has changed so much, uh, and we've learned so much about the relationship that it, it's a really rewarding for longtime fans of the of the anime uh, or the manga as well. So, really, really enjoy this. Uh, we get a little post credit scene as well, of course, as we've been getting that. One thing I really enjoyed too was that we kept going through the credits. Like it was really cool. Uh, but yeah, we get a little post credit scene with Squad 4 uh, and uh, the appearance of a new Stern Ritter, the Vanishing. Uh, and then this signals uh, that we're going to get another one of our favorite characters coming back in the next episode. So if you know, you know. No spoilers here, though. Uh, let me know who you think it is down in the comments if you haven't seen, if you haven't read the manga. Uh, but I am very, very excited. Core 2 has been just hit after hit there's probably like only one episode that i was like okay this is one's a little bit underwhelming but that was about it everything else has been a home run and they just keep hitting it out of the park because there's so much that we i'm waiting for uh i'm really excited to see how they play out the rest of the season or the rest of the core uh where we're gonna leave off uh and how that's gonna move on to the next part and then how long we're gonna have to wait for that so very excited for all that but let me know what you thought about this issue this episode down in the comments as always thank you for watching everyone remember to share like subscribe hit the bell so you know when we go live that is most saturdays 10 a.m central standard time stay tuned we have more comic reviews trailer reactions tv recaps all that fun stuff here in the channel thanks for watching everyone bye, -bye.